a letter to my state representative, Mike Conway. My name is Daniel Harris. I'm a senior at Howard Payne University and a second generation Cambodian American. Much of my family was displaced by the Khmer Rouge during the reign of Pol Pot in the late 70s. All my life I've heard stories of a war-torn country with a dictator who put people into concentration camps and slaughtered millions of innocent lives. My life has been shaped by these stories. Many of my convictions as to what I believe today stem from this narrative I've come from. A huge reason why I've come to study at Howard Payne is to study culture so I might be able to serve those of different backgrounds and ethnicities because I know there have been many Americans who have served my family without question. Without them, without America receiving my family with open arms, I would likely not be in the position I am now with the opportunities I have to receive an education for the betterment of society. It has come to my attention that our president is planning an executive order to restrict immigration of refugees from certain countries. I understand the fear of risking our national security with the rising numbers of those partaking in Islamic terrorism. However, having interned with an organization who works with many resettlement agencies, I trust the screening processes we currently have in place. According to the figures by World Relief, it can take upwards of three years for the process to be completed until they finally arrive to the United States. From my own personal experience, I've heard testimonies of it taking upwards of five to ten years. While refugee camps provide a place to live while displaced, many of these camps worry Many of those in these camps worry about the future of their children. Many of these camps provide inadequate educational opportunities for the next generation. I fear that because of inadequate living conditions and education, many of these displaced people will find themselves in a cycle of poverty difficult to get out of for generations to come. With many European countries and surrounding countries refusing to take any if Many, if any, refugees, where will they go? As a fellow citizen, as a fellow Christian, I believe it is our duty to provide asylum for those who are displaced. A quote from your webpage says, As a Christian, I believe that God knows us and fills us with life at the moment we are conceived. I am a strong supporter of the right to live and am committed to protecting the lives of all people, especially those unable to protect themselves. If this is true, as my representative, I am asking you to speak out against the policies our president is trying to implement. At the very least, I'm asking you to hear the, the voices and stories of those who have been displaced. The mere fact that we share the same identity as image bearers should be enough for this consideration. Blessings, Daniel Harris.